It's just about time to put together Easter baskets. Hide those eggs and plan the perfect Easter get together for family and friends. Here with some great Easter entertaining ideas is founder of shopwithstyle.com, Amy Sewell. Good morning, Amy. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be back. Absolutely. So I can't believe we're talking about Easter already, but it is definitely hot on our heels. So what are some of the latest trends that you're seeing in terms of Easter basket, Easter egg hunting, all of that? Well, whenever Easter comes around, families get together, so there's always a lot of food and candy around. So I worked with several companies to put together some ideas. First, you know, kids love finding that basket of treats on Easter morning. And PersonalCreations.com has cute baskets that can all be personalized with a child's name. These all-in-one baskets are totally customized. You choose the size and the style of the basket, the liner, even the font for the child's name. And it then gets filled with chocolate bunnies and marshmallow treats and jelly beans. It even has a stuffed white bunny. So really cute, and the kids love it because it has their name on it. Now for your Easter egg hunt, I love these new Wonka egg hunt kits. Now as you can see, the indoor eggs actually have adhesive on them, so you could maybe stick these you know, underneath furniture, put them on a window or a wall. For the outside eggs, they have eggs that are camouflaged to look like ladybugs or grass or flowers, so it really helps liven up that egg hunt, make something a little bit different. Now you can fill those with colorful candies that the kids love. I love these Sweet Tarts jelly beans. They're very colorful. Or these Nestle um, Butterfinger and Crunch nest eggs. Those are very tasty for snacking, but they're also really great you know, for a nice colorful holiday decor. Absolutely, and every kid that I know loves candy. I even enjoy candy in my Easter basket yet. <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> Another thing I love doing for the holidays is to make sure you fix everything in advance. You know, my parents entertained a lot when I was growing up, and my mom would fix everything ahead of time so that she could actually spend time with the people who were visiting. For Easter, I love this cheesy bacon and egg brunch casserole for that very reason. It's super flavorful. It has ground mustard and nutmeg. And you can put this together the night before and then just pop it in the oven in the morning. Now, kids can also help out with those preparations. They can decorate these super cute lemon daisy cupcakes. And of course, they love dyeing the Easter eggs. Now, we used flavors and food colors from McCormick for all these. You can find the recipes on their website. They also have a very detailed color guide for getting brilliant colors for your Easter eggs. So kids can really have a lot of fun with that, and it's a great thing you can do as a family. Well, finally, when entertaining, I love to set out a buffet, especially for your coffee and dessert. It's a great way for people to try a little bit of everything, and they can fix up their coffee just the way they like it. Now, for Easter, Bailey's has three new flavors of their non-alcoholic coffee creamers. They have a smooth chocolatini, a creamy cinnamon dolce, and my personal favorite is the sweet Italian biscotti. Now, even if you don't drink hot coffee, these are fabulous in iced coffee as well, now that the weather is getting nice and hot. You can also bake them into delicious desserts. We use the chocolatini for these black and white cookies. You can find the recipe for that and more on their website. And how do you have any tips, actually, Amy, on how to not overeat when you have a brunch for Easter? Well, one thing is just to make the amount of food that you need. You know, so many of us, whenever we're preparing for a holiday, you know, we make twice as much food as we know we're actually going to have and th that we need to eat for the dinner. So that is one idea. And you can also just portion out, you know, as you're serving, you could serve it from the kitchen even if you want to onto people's plates instead of having huge um, bowls and platters of things on the table. Well, Amy, thank you so much for your time. Well, one thing morning. I love about the candy, particularly for something like these little nest eggs, these are nice and portion controlled already. So I love having candy like that, um, that we can you know, just unwrap them individually as you go. Well, Amy, thank you so much for your time this morning, and happy Easter to you. Thank you to you as well. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.